What if you could transform your body using nothing but your own weight? Welcome to the world of calisthenics. This style of training, powered by gravity and your own body, has the capacity to sculpt, strengthen and redefine your physique. It's about pushing your limits, challenging your body and harnessing the power within you. Calisthenics isn't just a workout routine, it's a journey of self-discovery that tests your strength, endurance and agility. From explosive plyometric movements to controlled muscle-ups, you'll engage every muscle in your body, igniting a fire within. The beauty of bodyweight exercises is their adaptability. Whether you're a seasoned athlete or a fitness novice, there are modifications and progressions to suit your level. This isn't about building a better body alone, but also about unlocking the beast within you, developing mental toughness, discipline and resilience that transcends the workout mat. Are you ready to unlock your full potential and become a bodyweight beast? It's time to dive into the ultimate calisthenics training experience. Before we start, it's crucial to warm up and stretch to avoid injuries. Let's kick things off with some light jogging on the spot. This simple activity gets the blood flowing and kickstarts your cardiovascular system. Keep it going for about 30 seconds. Feel your heart rate slightly elevate and your body temperature rise. Next, let's wake up those muscles with some jumping jacks. Start slow, then gradually pick up the pace. This dynamic movement engages multiple muscle groups and boosts your heart rate further. Aim for about 20 jumping jacks. Now let's move on to some arm circles. Extend your arms out to the sides and make small circles forward for 15 seconds, then reverse it for another 15. This helps to loosen up the shoulders and upper body. Shifting focus to the lower body, let's do some hip circles. Place your hands on your hips and make large circles, first in one direction, then the other. This movement warms up the hip flexors and prepares your lower body for the workout ahead. To wrap up our warm-up, we'll do some dynamic stretching. Begin with some leg swings, first front to back, then side to side. Follow this with arm swings, crossing your arms in front of your chest. Lastly, let's finish off with some torso twists. Stand tall, hands on your hips, and rotate your upper body from side to side. This motion increases flexibility and mobility, priming your body for the intense calisthenics training to come. Now that we're warmed up, let's get into the heart of the workout. Our first stop on this journey is explosive plyometric exercises. Plyometrics, often known as jump training, is a high-intensity workout technique designed to develop power, speed and overall athletic performance. This is where we'll get your heart pumping, muscles firing and energy levels soaring. We'll kick things off with jump squats. Start by placing your feet shoulder width apart, lower into a squat, then explode upward, jumping as high as you can. Land softly and immediately sink back into your next squat. This exercise is a powerhouse, working your quads, hamstrings, glutes and calves, while also boosting your cardiovascular fitness. Next on our list are power push-ups. Unlike regular push-ups, you'll be adding an explosive element. Begin in a standard push-up position, lower your body to the floor, then push up with enough force to lift your hands off the ground. This move targets your chest, shoulders, triceps and core, adding an element of power to your upper body strength. Finally, we'll tackle the mighty burpees. Start in a standing position, quickly drop into a squat, kick your feet back into a plank, do a push up, jump your feet back in and then leap up into the air. Burpees are a full body exercise, engaging nearly every muscle group while ramping up your heart rate. Remember, plyometrics are all about intensity rather than duration. It's about quality, not quantity. So don't rush through the movements. Take your time to perform each rep with proper form and explosive power. As we progress, you'll find that these exercises not only boost your strength and endurance, but also enhance your coordination, agility and speed. They're a key component in our calisthenics training, helping you become a bodyweight beast. Remember to listen to your body. If you need to take a breather, do it. This is your journey, and it's all about progressing at your own pace. Well done, you've powered through the first part of the workout. Let's keep the momentum going. Now we shift our focus to building strength and endurance. Strength and endurance are two essential pillars of calisthenics training. It's not just about the short bursts of energy, but also about how long you can maintain that intensity. It's about pushing your physical boundaries and setting new personal bests with each passing day. Let's start with planks. They may seem simple, but they are a powerhouse of a workout. 
Engaging your core, your shoulders, your arms, and even your legs, planks help build an all-around strength. Hold the position for 30 seconds, rest for 15, and repeat. Aim for four to five sets. Remember, it's not about how long you can hold, but about maintaining the correct form. Next, we have the classic push-ups. A well-executed push-up engages your chest, your shoulders, your triceps, and your core. Start with your hands shoulder width apart. Lower your body until your chest almost touches the floor, then push yourself back up. Aim for 10 repetitions, rest for 20 seconds, and go for three to five sets. If you're just starting, don't worry about numbers. Focus on getting the form right and the numbers will follow. Finally, we come to lunges. They primarily target your lower body, strengthening your quads, your glutes, and your hamstrings. Stand tall, take a step forward, and lower your body until your front knee is at a 90 degree angle. Push back up, switch legs, and repeat. Aim for 10 lunges on each leg, rest for 20 seconds, and go for three to five sets. Remember, the key to strength and endurance training is consistency. You might not see results immediately, but don't let that discourage you. Keep pushing, keep striving, and soon you'll see the transformation you've been working towards. So take a deep breath, gather your determination, and let's get to it. Every rep, every set brings you one step closer to becoming a bodyweight beast. You're doing great, keep pushing, and let's move on to the final phase of our workout. For the final leg of our journey, we'll be focusing on controlled muscle-ups. Muscle-ups are a true testament to your strength and control. They're a composite move combining a pull-up and a dip, working your arms, shoulders, chest, and core. But remember, it's not about how many you can do, it's about how well you can do them. Start by hanging from the bar, your hands slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Engage your core, pull yourself up, leading with your chest. Once you've pulled your body up to the bar, transition into a dip by pushing your body upward until your arms are straight. Lower yourself down with control, and you've completed one rep. Aim for three sets of five to start with, but remember, even one good muscle up is a great achievement. Now, let's cool down. It's important to bring your heart rate down gradually and stretch out those worked muscles. Start with some deep breathing. Inhale deeply through your nose, hold for a moment, and exhale through your mouth. Feel your heart rate slowing down. Next, let's stretch. Reach for the sky, hold for a moment, then gently bend at the waist and try to touch your toes. Don't worry if you can't reach yet. Just go as far as you can, gently roll up one vertebra at a time until you're standing tall again. Repeat this a few times. Now stretch out your arms. Extend one arm across your body, using the other arm to pull it towards you. Hold for a few seconds, then switch. To stretch your chest, interlock your fingers behind your back, straighten your arms and lift them as high as you can. And finally, let's not forget those legs. Do some gentle lunges, keeping your knee over your ankle. Hold for a moment, then switch. A few of these should do the trick. Congratulations. You've just completed a full bodyweight beast workout. Remember, progress takes time, so keep at it, and you'll see transformational results. You've just experienced the transformative power of calisthenics. We've covered everything from explosive plyometrics to controlled muscle-ups, each movement designed to ignite your strength and stamina. This is just the beginning of your journey into the world of bodyweight training. Take a moment to appreciate the hard work your body has just done. Every rep, every set, Every drop of sweat has brought you a step closer to becoming a bodyweight beast. You've pushed your limits, challenged your body, and, most importantly, you've taken a significant step towards unlocking your full potential. With regular calisthenics training, you're not just sculpting a lean muscular physique, you're also developing mental toughness, discipline, and resilience. Each workout is a testament to your strength, not just physically, but mentally too. And remember, it's not about where you start. It's about how far you're willing to go. We urge you to continue this journey. Keep pushing, keep striving, and embrace each new challenge with determination and grit. With consistency and dedication, you'll witness a transformation that extends beyond the mirror and permeates every aspect of your life. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Let's spread the calisthenics revolution together. Until next time, Keep pushing, keep striving, and become the bodyweight beast you were meant to be.